Greetings, fellow cigar box guitar luthiers, players, fans of the cigar box guitar, and fans of independent music and musicians. Moses here, Boreal Guitars. Today I'm going to do a demonstration on some of the inner workings and some of the challenges that I work through when I'm uh, building cigar box guitars. I'm going to use this recent bill, which is almost complete. It's an Arturo Fuente box that I've put a single coil pickup from a regular electric guitar. And I'm going to discuss some of the challenges I encountered with this bill, some of the workarounds, and some of the things I did to turn this into a pretty interesting instrument. So let's get to it. First of all, as I mentioned before, that is a Strat single coil pickup. This is my screw down bridge. That's a door hinge for the tailpiece. This was a two hole hinge initially, so I drilled the third hole in the center. And you notice the four sound holes. This one has the volume knob. So once I looked at this instrument and I said, well, I need to add a volume but I didn't want to drill an additional hole in the top. So I came up with an idea to mount the volume in that lower rear sound hole. And I'll show you the bracket that I fabricated to create this effect here shortly. Of course, moving on down, you see those position markers those are from the thermoplastic dowel rods that I've really begun using almost exclusively. The fingerboard is a paint mixing stick. It's about one fourth of an inch thick. I'm using a zero fret. And I always taper the front edge of the fingerboard. Usually just cut a 45 degree angle there. Move it on to the headstock. So you notice I went with the lap joint approach to this, which means when I cut out the top, I just flipped it over, glued it to the back, and then I shaved it down so I could get a thickness that would accommodate these tuners. Sometimes when you go with the lap joint, The headstock is just a little bit too thick and you can't get the nuts down um, far enough to tighten the tuners down. So I typically go with a minimum thickness for the headstock of a half an inch. Also, you'll notice the mini screw eyelets that I use for a string guide. Those are seven millimeters. And finally, the side or back mounted output jack makes it nice and flush. And you can see the little screw is here that's holding the bracket 
where this volume potentiometer is mounted on. All right, there you have it. So let's take this thing apart. One quick thing I wanted to show you is this is a one fourth inch diameter by one and one half inch long threaded rod. And this is the saddle for the bridge. Now if you notice, and I'm gonna show you this when I take the top off, there's a little wire sticking out there. That's the ground wire. Obviously that's gonna make contact with this metal saddle. Then the strings will go over that and that's what grounds the strings. Okay, now, I've already took the screws out of the bridge. Okay. Now, you don't have to use three holes in the back side of this where it's gonna mount down, but I like the extra security of three holes. So whenever I have hinges with only two holes in it, I drill the third hole on both sides. And okay, now in removing the top, notice only the ground wire is still connected there, but all I have to do is pull it out. There's a tiny hole right down the center of that piece. Give you a close up. So whenever I take the top off, I can just do that. And as you notice, the bridge screws down to the top on its own. Now, looking at the inner workings, as you can see, I've created this little box where I have the potentiometer mounted and then this knob is just one of my homemade wood knobs right on the top. All the wiring is inside the little housing. It goes in one side, comes out the other side, wires to the jack, and there's your wire to the pickup. Now another problem that I had when I was making this little mounting block for the pickup is when I first put this together, this block was obscuring the sound holes. So I took my hole saw, lined it up with where the sound holes would be. I actually used a template that I made for the top. And now you see those little half circles in the wood block. So that's when you put the top on. All you see are the sound holes. And of course, that floating appearance of the volume knob is achieved by the assembly. All right, folks, there you have it. I just wanted to share with you some of my build challenges and problem solving techniques. And I hope you uh, can incorporate some of these uh, tips into your next cigar glass guitar build. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. On Tuesdays, I will always post either a cigar box guitar building tips or a playing tips video. And don't forget about Fridays and my one song concerts. One song concerts feature me playing an original song on a cigar box guitar. Once again, thank you for watching and remember friends, it's all about the box.